Okay, so welcome back to part two of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are making these beads, which are hand painted, hand glazed, individually hand painted and hand glazed, I should say. And I'm gonna show you the techniques I've used to create them, which might just give you a little bit of food for thought, a few ideas of things that you've not perhaps tried before. So in the previous video, I showed you how to make the beads themselves just from white paper. And here are our beads, and this is the look that we are aiming for. So I've got my watercolour brushes, um, which are like felt tip brushes. So they've got a kind of felt tip end, but they are actually watercolours, and they're a really easy way to do. I don't think this set was very expensive. I think there's probably about 24 colours in the set. And I've just picked out four colours that I want to use, and I've also got the watercolour paintbrush that comes with it that's got a little reserve of water. So for these two beads I'm going to need to put them on cocktail sticks so that they are easy to hold. Now you've got a choice here, you can either get your cocktail stick, now your these beads I rolled were three millimetre and my cocktail sticks are about two millimetre ish. You know if you stick them on they are not going to stay, if you just put one on they're not going to stay still. Now you can put two cocktail sticks on like so wedge it in that's fine that works or you can in your bead if I show you in your bead you've got this little flap of paper which is where the middle part was in the roller can you see that so I can stick my cocktail stick down that and my, my stick cocktail my bead will stay on the stick ish it's not as secure it moves it's not as secure as sticking two sticks on but two sticks work as well so i'm going to actually just use two sticks because i find that that's better there we go it does slightly distort the bottom of the bead makes it a bit oval but they are easy to squash back afterwards so here we go I've got my two beads so I'm just going to take one of them and what we're going to do is we're going to start colouring our beads so I think I'm going to go for my palest colour first so I'm going to go with yellow and this is where you can just have fun to make sure I am in screen so you can just have fun and I'm just going to start and add some colour to this like so no real particular idea of what i'm going to do i'm just going to see what happens so i've chosen slightly different colors to the original beads but that's just to give you an idea and then i'm going to go with this one and i think i might choose to maybe maybe go around this go around here around here And you're probably looking at this thinking, Zoe, what are you doing? This looks awful. But just hold on. Okay, so I'm then going to choose my last colour. I'm probably only going to use three colours. And I might put this colour in the middle. Like so. There we go. So there we go. There's our finished bead. Doesn't it look lovely? Well, no, not really. It does look a bit of a mess. It's, you know, I mean, you might like it as it is, but it's not really the look I was going for. I was going for something a bit more subtle, a bit more washed out. So that is where our paintbrush comes in with our water reservoir. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to make sure there's definitely enough water in the end, and you just squeeze it to get some of the water out. And I'm going to start and paint my bead. Now your bead will get obviously wet, and this is paper. So you have to be quite careful how much water you put on it. And you need to work reasonably quickly. But as you can see, the colours start to blend. And it starts to not look anything like the original bead that we just had a minute ago. It's like magic. And you can keep working at it, you know, the more water you put on it, A, the wetter it's going to be, but also the more it kind of blends in. So that pink has really dulled down. It was quite vibrant before. 
So there we go. So there is our new bead. And the thing you need to be careful of is that where we've sealed the bead, or we've stuck the bead down here, this can, now we've added water to it, become a little bit unstuck, just like so. That's not a problem. We'll wait for the bead to dry and then we'll just add a little bit more PVA glue and we'll just seal it back down again. No problem. So I'm going to put this bead to dry over here. I don't think you can see that. That's a bit of oasis that you'd use for floristry. So I'm just going to stick it there to dry and I will show you again with the other bead. But this time I'm going to reverse my colours. So I'm going to use pink at the edges. I'm going to use pink on the edges. And at this point you can, if you wanted to, colour the inside. Like so. And colour the ends. like so and I'm just gonna pull it out stick the end down it and give it a little color stick it back on and then swap colors so it's do you know I think I'm gonna use yellow next I'm gonna put turquoise in the middle so I'll color this in I'm going to use this. You don't have to be precise at all because the water will make the colours run. So you, you know, there's no point in being precise. And I know that turquoise is quite a dominant colour. It's got quite a lot of pigment in it. So I'm not going to put that much on. I'm not going to make it too, too per turquoisey. So just to show you what they look like after you've added the water and before you've added the water. So you can see there's a huge difference. They look completely different. And again, once we've added some glaze that we're going to do some funky things with as well, again, they will look even more different. So, okay, let's get the water paintbrush out again. Make sure I've definitely got enough water on it and just start and sweep it round. And the transformation is kind of, is like magic. They just go from looking really quite bright and gaudy to looking really pretty and subtle and watercoloured. There we go. And it will carry on changing and moving until it's dry. So you don't want to add too much water because they will start to get very, very soft and they will start to disintegrate. But there we go. That's our two beads that we have made using some watercolour paints or pens to colour the beads and for the next part of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to glaze them. Okay, hold tight for part three.